sentir. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, and with me now are The Cure. It's good to have you guys here. It's excellent. Very nice to be say, and uh, it's excellent. You've got a new album out, Wild Mood Swings, and... Uh, Violent Mood Swings. Violent. Are we joking about that? <laughs> the different titles. <laughs> Confusing me again, right? The first time I heard about that title, somebody said Violent, and then it turned out it was actually Wild Mood Swings. Now, you're, uh, it's been four years since the last album came out when you were working on Wish. In that, in that amount of time, you, you released those two live albums, which were really excellent, a uh, show in Paris. Um, in the rest of that time, was it, what were you doing besides the fact that, I'm, I mean, Boris left, uh, Poor Old left, he was doing the Page and Plant tour, um, which, by the way, it was great hearing them do Lullaby. That was so cool. <laughs> How was it? I mean, just sure a really quick ask you that question. How was it hearing well, that? Well, they played with us a couple of times last year. We did some European festivals, but they didn't do it. <laughs> they didn't Whenever dare we to were do there, it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going, go on, do it. And was like, Paul wanted to do it, but um, Robert didn't want to do it when I was there. So. I heard it on a cassette. It was funny hearing someone else do it. Isn't it weird hearing somebody do something? Yeah, I mean, it was good, I suppose, in a way. It really was. I think it was a lot of respect for the band. I mean, it was great. We got on very well, actually. It was surprising. I mean, th I, I think well, I mean, Paul was like always a big Zeppelin fan, anyway. But um, we all like different bits, do we? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we well, do. Well, let's face because you've, you've covered, I mean, you know, besides the Doors, that cover of Hello, I Love You, did Hendrix on the very first um, import album of Three Imaginary yeah. Boys, which you came You must like Led Zeppelin, too. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not saying, though. No, Rod, 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 Rod. Let's play that. So right now, we're going to actually play the second video off of Wild Mood Swings and let uh, people check it out, and we'll come back and talk to The Cure a lot more. Right now, here's Mint Cole. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield, and I'm here with The Cure. And let's talk a bit about, uh, you know, the new lineup and everything. We, we mentioned before that Porl and Boris had both left. Now, um, Roger, you're back actually after doing the uh, the whole uh, no. <laughs> after doing the yep. whole Cure thing, right? <laughs> the, I mean, no, no, I'm sorry. After doing the, the first thing, how was it coming back? Did it, did it feel comfortable? Feel like it was where you wanted to be? Yeah, it felt really natural. It felt coming back to a family that you hadn't seen for a few years. Oh, oh cry! There was lots of crying, and <laughs> drinking, and hangovers, and crying, crying, and yeah. and crying and drinking. The whole thing. Yeah, it was very natural. Felt very good. As opposed to when you weren't in the Cure, when you were. Crying and drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you did some stuff with the furs, of course, and you're on disintegration too. Um, what about what did you guys hook up with Jason? Tell me a bit about that. We were waiting outside a playground, and he. <laughs> 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 I was abducted by them. Yeah. He asked really? us to go into off license and buy him some cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, it, it was an advert in the paper, <coughs> Melody Maker, mm. and uh, it said, "Very famous band, new drummer, no metal heads." <laughs> <laughs> That's really how we still took him anyway. Trace description, that, right. Despite being a metalhead, you were flying. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So you, so you did it anyway, and it worked out. That's cool. Yeah. We had loads of. Um, we went through seven drummers in the first sort of six weeks of making the album. Yeah. Trying to find. I mean, that was reduced down from hundreds of applicants. Right, because I know Martin Jilks actually done yeah. a little stunt with you guys as well yeah. from the Wonder there's, there's um. I think there's a three other drummers on the album or two. That made Austin, it. Austin. Jason Mark. eventually like, wanted to really just read it everyone's mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Come by, was like, I'll do that. I can do that, right? Because they weren't metal enough or something. <laughs> <laughs> Very metal noise pollution, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, right now, um, we'll be talking more with Robert and the rest of the band in just a bit. But right now, we're going to show this whole video. And Courtney's looking very good in this video, by the way, with her new uh, darker hair. And it's a really good cover of Gold Dust Woman, which is an old Fleetwood Mac song. It's from the uh, upcoming film soundtrack for The Crow City of Angels. So check it out here in 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield. I'm talking with The Cure, and uh, let's talk a bit about this website. I mean, that you guys have going. It's uh, been done by the SonicNet people, who've done work with. Uh, the, they've done stuff for the Stones and Bowie, but it's, it's a really intricate uh, website. There's a lot of different areas in there. How, did you like the multimedia thing, Robert? Was it something you really wanted to do for your, for your fans? No, I think that the reason why we're on it, I mean, for me, is that um, I mean, Roger's been doing it for years. He's been surfing about in virtual reality for years. <laughs> Um, I, I think that he was, when he rejoined the, the group, it, it was perceived as like the voice of the cure, and whatever Roger said was like an opinion that we all held. And I kind of, I think, we, well, I felt uncomfortable, and I think Roger felt uncomfortable with that as well. And that's where the idea of us having like a, a site 
on the net came out of that really. Also, and, um, there's so many unofficial sites. Yeah, and it's just there's a lot of yeah. sort of like rubbish talked people, about us yeah. on there. What we are doing, what we've done, what we're supposed to be doing. You know, and I kind of think, well, well, why don't we just do it? So, um, but I mean, we've got very involved in designing. Like, I mean, everything to do with it is really up. It's, it's what we've put on it. I mean, there's all kinds of linking hallways, and there's even a thing called skeleton closet with. It's got bios and updates on ex-band <laughs> members. That's pretty cool. It's and really there's a dungeon. <laughs> and are any ex-band members locked in that dungeon? There's one. He's <laughs> <laughs> permanent residing. <laughs> <laughs> to make it more uncomfortable for the others, we throw in later. Yeah. Okay, exactly. <laughs> He's frothing. <laughs> no, anyway. <laughs> but uh, I think it's just excellent. People can check that out. Also, they can actually uh, download the alternate version of Mint Car, which was filmed everywhere. Mm. Part of it was filmed in London. Here in Coney Island, you did that last time you were in town. Yeah. Um, and uh, you actually, it's, it's all your work, Robert. You edited it, and it was on a Super Airwork. Tell me a bit about that. Yeah, well, we got, well, we've been filming. It's like the longest video in history. We <laughs> started making it in January in Brazil. And uh, everywhere we went, we were taking in, like, toy instruments and mime into Mint Car and filming it. And uh, we got back there's hours of stuff and it was it was edited together by someone else and it just it didn't work I just thought it's like but I knew there was some really good stuff in there so I just like I cut one together it's it wouldn't be right to kind of put out as the official video because it's a bit self-indulgent I mean if you like the group you like the video it's funny it's like us like we really are not pretending right exactly it's your take on yourself yeah so it's there's a, it's just like a little sort of travelogue video it's good fun though yeah, it's great. People can definitely get that and download and access yeah, it from the website. You don't actually have to download it because it takes a long time to download. It will stream live out of the it'll, net. It'll stream live out yeah. of the net. Great. So you don't have to download it. That's really cool. But so you can if you want. <laughs> That's excellent, though. If you've got six hours to spare. Yeah. yeah. And, oh, it's, and Put it's it on a video computer. cassette and then mm. sell it. <laughs> exactly. <gasps> don't go anywhere because right after the break, The Cure is going to be here playing live for us. I'm so psyched for that. I'm sure you are as well. So stay right here. Go, go. Matt Pivot I'm here with The Cure, and um, this tour is pretty amazing. I mean, the show's three hours. I mean, you, you, I mean, you put a lot of time into it, but you literally have the band knows 80 songs, which is amazing. Simon, I mean, you've of course been the longest uh, band member. I mean, you were out, you, you left for a while, but came back. But yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff there that obviously has, has a lot of history for you too. How do you feel about having to know 80 songs? And, um, <laughs> I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, um, it's just. God, I am half I don't know. It's just, well, we don't really know 80 songs, I suppose, do we? Well, it's amazing yeah, like, how, when Robert says, do you, do you think you can play this? I think you do very well, well considering. Yeah. I mean, you sort of half know 80 songs. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's good. There's, like, there's 50 that we can just kind of play, and there's like another probably 20 that we need to have a couple of run-throughs. And then, above and beyond that, they were sort of... Uh, I mean, uh, we know them. We sort of know them all, really. Yeah. It's just it's whether we can play and feel comfortable. But I mean, like yesterday night we did um, Love Song. We haven't played that in years, just because I felt like singing it. And we did it once at the at sound check, and then everyone's going, "You won't do that tonight, will you?" Yeah. I said, no, 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 no. Of course. And then we did it. <laughs> then you did it, of course, which is the thing to do. Yeah. I mean, so I, I like the idea of as we go through the tour, of just like just playing loads and loads of different stuff. Because it keeps everyone interested. It keeps, yeah. every, like, not just the band, but everyone to do with, like, the whole show has to keep thinking about what, what we're doing, why we're doing it. Yeah. And it's, and for me, it's really good, because I've kind of, I'm, I like the idea of being able to throw a song in if the audience is, like, a certain way, and I feel a certain way, just like, connecting with that and just like saying well let's do this song so i'm eventually going to leave holes in the set list and then and just see fill where it goes yeah. yeah that's cool i know you do like, like an old show band would do yeah. <laughs> that's actually quite <laughs> cool. gonna take requests out of the audience that's excellent but i mean you can pull out old things you know like play for today or mm. say m and i mean there's things from all different records and i mean you have a rich history of songs so i mean I mean, there's so much to draw from. Yeah, and the good thing about all the old songs that all Jason has to do is just play 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> <laughs> little Simon, primary, but we were, we, we've got to get Simon to do primary live. We're mm. going to talk him into it when he's done. <laughs> yeah, when we hand that. <laughs> <laughs> I practice it backstage now. I love that. But anyway, uh, well, let's, well, I want to thank you guys for coming by tonight. It's great to have you. And okay, people, you. you know, should check out the live show. It's three hours fun and different show every night, basically. It's good. It's a great thing. It's really good. Great to have you. Right now, um, we're going to actually show a new video, but we want to mention once again that we're going to throw up that address, uh, 
that email. Uh, you, my brain is ruined. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. That internet mm -hmm. address mm -hmm. for the for the website. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to say. I was just trying to find the right word for address, <laughs> but I think address is the right word. Yeah. Hey, check this out. It's up on the screen. Anyway, we're going to show another video now. Brand new one from the New York band Doggy Dog. Their second album is called Play Games, and they were in uh, Best New Artist in Europe, in the uh, MTV Europe Music Awards this year over Alanis Morissette and a ton of other people, and they're from the North Jersey area. We're going to show their video for Isms, so check this one out, and guys, thanks again for coming by. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent to have you. Thank you very much. Watch 120 Minutes.